I'm Sir TapTap, and the Christmas event for 2017 for Abyssrium is almost upon us, or depending on your update, it's upon us. Uh, just to answer some quick questions, please don't rush to the comments to ask these. Number A, yes. The candies from the other events roll over. They always roll over. Um, so yeah, all of your unused Halloween candies will roll over, which is why I have a bunch of candy already. Um, number two, they uh, roll out an update slowly. So yes, I have it. That does not mean your game is glitched. That does not mean that God hates you. That does not mean that there is a government conspiracy preventing the update from downloading to your phone. Um, that just means that they haven't sent the f update to your phone yet. Wait a few days. Um, the Halloween event officially ends in two days. Some of us got the update early. Um, if you do get the update early, the Halloween event actually ends immediately, even though you have two more days left. So, if you're not done with the Halloween event, you might want to turn off auto-updates, because that way you'll get the rest of the update, the Halloween event. And, yeah, they kind of spring the ends on us really soon. So you have a long time for the updates, for the events, but don't wait until the end, because you don't know when the end is going to be until it's, like, less than a week away. So just, just do the event when you can. Um, but yeah, if you ha if you really need to hurry up, like I said, turn off auto updates because if you get in the beta, so to speak, um, and there's nothing you can do to like you don't opt in to the like beta waves. It's just completely random. Nothing you can do. It's not about being on iOS or Android. It's just random. Um, I'm still gonna get somebody's gonna ask. I, I know I can feel it in my blood. Somebody's already typing. How did you get the update early? And I know, it's it's not your fault, it is the devs for doing this stupid thing. But yeah, anyway. So, now that that's out of the way, the Hall of, or the Christmas event, we don't know what's gonna end. That's another common question, we don't know. They never tell us. This is a bit stream we're talking about. I, I've said for a while, they should hire, like, me. I They should hire me to do the, the like, their social media and, like, the translating stuff. Because, like, they're so bad at communicating, it's embarrassing. But yeah, this one is more complicated than usual, so watch the whole video, or if you want, you can always read my written guide. It's just at sirtabdab.com slash abyssrium. Uh, it's always in the description. Um, it always has absolutely everything. I spent a good chunk of today updating it and finding all the new fish and stuff. So without further ado, we're going to go down the fish list and we're going to comment on what we do. Um, a lot of these aren't hidden, so Holly, Angelfish, Rudolph, Midolf, Midotang, blah blah blah. These are just normal fish. One thing I will note, there's three cheapest fish this event, which is so nice. Because usually you end up with like 50 of one fish and like one of all of the rest. But this, in this way you can, you know, spread out the love and have a more varied set of fish, which is very nice. Um, Snowflake Parrotfish is our first hidden fish. Watch the Christmas event ads 15 times. That means, uh, this up here, you gotta watch the video 15 times. That'll take you 7.5 hours total, or if you advance your clock forward, you can advance the clock on your device forward 30 minutes, and then watch another ad, and etc. And you can get that in like, you know, 10 minutes instead of 7 hours, uh, if you want to do that. Or if you're if you're not impatient like me, you can just wait. Um, and that's only 600 gem or things. By the way, you can buy fish with gems. Never do that. This is always this shouldn't even be an option. It's terrible. Always use candies. Um, oh yeah, um, since somebody's gonna ask, how do I get candy so fast? I have a video, search Sir Tap Tap event currency. There's a video on what you need to do. Um, there, I have a guide full of playlists. I have a, there, at the end of every Abyssrium video, I show a playlist that has all of my video guides. Um, all of the questions that people keep asking, they're all on that. I, I love answering people's questions, but like, a lot of stuff is just like, oh, it's, I, I did that like three months ago. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. Um, toy Blobfish. Um, that, that is, that is a doozy. So to get the Toy Blobfish, first things first, um, whenever there's a new event, just go to the this pa Painter's Palette menu. You're going to need to buy Costume, Theme, and Die. Every event has one of these, and you get to keep them forever, but you can only buy them during the event. So they're, they're very cheap. It's a total of 2,000 candies to get all of them. Um, but for a lot of different things in this, you need the Arctic Train, and I think at least one of them requires one or both of the other ones. But yeah, you need to get the Arctic Train, then what you need to do... Oh, this is gonna be infuriating. This is so bad on, on, on a, on a, with a mouse. 
What you need to do is focus the camera on the train, and then you need to tap the train a bunch of times. It didn't, it didn't go. All right, so when it's in the thing, you can't tap it. Oh, pff. this is, this is, this is infuriating. Uh, you just need to tap the train a bunch though. So you need to focus on the train, or at least it helps if you focus on the train. You just tap it a bunch and then it goes all around. And then you can tap the uh, the thing. It'll give you 10 candies if you tap it there. Um, so yeah, when you do that, you'll unlock this. And that's another unlock that requires doing that a bunch of times. Um, that's not it. These aren't hidden fish. So yeah, just own three Holly Angelfish for that. Three Rudolph Mount Tang. Three Snowdoll Cordial, or Snowflake Cordials. Own 20 Event Fish. This is another hidden fish. Bell's Dumbo Octopus. Decorate Polar Bear Hat. See, I told you you'd need it get the polar bear hat and then you make a holy sea dragon it's not a holly sea dragon it's a holy sea dragon and yes if you already made a holy holly sea dragon you need to make another one with the polar bear hat equipped nothing you can do that's not a hidden fish you just gotta own 30 event fish own five snow globe football fish um not a hidden fish yes there's a marlin no it's not a hidden marlin no you don't need to take the pictures calm down I know, I know your blood pressure rose the moment you saw the words Marlin, but no. They learned their lesson, at least for now. Um, Snowflake Jellyfish. You need to share the Happy Penguin Christmas card, which... Ah, uh, crap, how do you unlock that one again? Which is not even, it's not even called that, but... Penguin... Ugh. This is what I mean when it's, like, complicated. It's called Jolly Penguin, but, um... <laughs> it's no easy way to explain this. So, alright. When you take pictures of fish, specifically, during the Christmas update, you can make Christmas cards. You also need to unlock, uh, you can also unlock, four of these are unlockable. I still don't know how to get Holly Knight, by the way. If anyone knows how to get Holly Knight, uh, please tell me. Unless there's already 50 comments telling me how to get Holy Knight, in which case, don't. But at, at, at the moment, I don't know how to do that. Um, but to get Jolly Penguin, you need to equip the Arctic Train and create a snowball, snow globe football fish. So like I said, just get the die things immediately and you'll save yourself a lot of grief in these events. But yeah, once you've made a snow globe football fish with the Arctic Train, you'll unlock this. And then all you have to do is tap the share button. You don't have to actually share it. You can just cancel out. And that will give you, go away. That will give you the snowflake jellyfish. Um, you need a few of those, by the way, for a later one. For, for this one, actually, Snow Globe Turtle. Click 200 times candies of Holly Jellyfish. This is what I'm talking about with a bad English. They could really just, just any English editor. They don't have to be able to read Korean to like translate, just edit. Like, cause like, you know they just run the stuff through Google Translate and they don't even show anybody who actually knows native English. It's embarrassing. Um, but yeah, you just need, you make a few snowflake jellyfish and if you watch my how to get candy video, you'll know that this is easy because the best way to get candy involves the jellyfish. Um, so yeah. Rudolph Dolphin, that's what I was talking about before with you gotta make the train speed up 15 times and get the candy. So do that thing I did with the camera. It's a little bit infuriating, but it doesn't take too long. Stuff like Narwhal, not a hidden fish. Get 40 event fish. Own five snow globe turtle, not a hidden fish, not a hidden fish. Own five snowflake war narwhal, own 50 event fish, um, snowflake shark. So yeah, for this one you need to get the snowflake shark there, and then you need to share one of those uh, Christmas cards like I showed you. So you just go to the shark, pretend this is the shark, you need to share one of these Christmas cards. You can, um, it's not only the Christmas fish that uh, you can make cards of, you can make like a spooky Christmas card with like a skeleton fish if you want to, with hyper realistic blood, anyway. Uh, Holly Orfish, you need to click 100 times the candy of the... These... This is some English, ma English man. Uh, click 100 times candy of the Toy Sharks. You need to make... Some of these are hidden upon hidden, so you need to unlock the Toy Shark first. Then, what you need to do to get the... To tap the candy of the Toy Shark, what you want to do, have only the Toy Sharks, and then go to expand mode like this, and then you can follow them around. And it's much easier like this. You can do this in like 5-10 minutes. Uh, it'll take a lot longer if you have every other fish out, and... Just just do the expand trick, trust me. It'll save you, it'll save you so much grief. Snowflake Sunfish, I actually discovered this live on stream and I was the first person to find it. I was very proud of that. Um, you have to share, you don't actually have to share all the Christmas cards as you might have noticed, I don't have all of them. What you have to do is if you share the Nutcracker Dream one, 
then you'll get it. That's what it seems to be. Um, failing that, you might have to share all four of these Buttholy Knights, but it's somebody said it unlocked immediately after they shared Nutcracker Dreams, so it might just be that one. But yeah, once you have that... Why does this pop up? I hate this. Uh, I genuinely... I, there's no reason to ever... Like, this amount of vitality is nothing. It's like sub-garbage. Um, I really wish I could turn off this stupid notification and never get it ever again. Um, it's maddening. It shows up even while I'm playing the game. I... It... Yeah. Anyway. Once you've got all of those, you can get the Snowflake Whale. Once you've got... Um, I love how it helpfully notes that you own all Christmas event fish, not in Clud. I, they spelled in Clud twice. The, the, the Halloween fish, not in Clud Bone Whale last time. I, I can't believe, I can't believe in Clud is happening again. But yeah, that is all of the fish. Actually, it's not all of the fish. I've lied to you. But that is all of the fish in the event tab. Um, speaking of fish tabs, um, the legendary sunfish still seems to be around. So if you want to unlock that, go ahead. Yeah, tap sunfish vitality 100 times. I hope they don't remove it again, but they might. So if you don't have it, get it. Because uh, they've removed it twice, two or three times now, actually. So, yeah, go get it. Three times, I, I think, now. Yes. Anyway. So, that is all of those. So, onto the Christmas cards. If you want to get the, unlock the Christmas cards, uh, Abysmus is free. Um, this would be a good time to change the game's name back to Abyssrium, by the way. They call it Tap Tap Fish now. But Abysmus, like, it's not Tap Tap Fishmas, it's Abysmus. Please, tap Abyssrium. It's such a good name. Why did you do this, Gina Mobile? Why? Why have you betrayed our, your children? Anyway. Uh, Abyssmus is unlocked by default. Jolly Penguin, you need to crypt the Arctic die and create the football fish. We already talked about that. Oh, Holy Knight, like I said, I don't know. Please tell me if you know how. Uh, Snowing Town, you need to speed up the train after buying 30 snowflake fish. That's 2017 fish only, by the way. Um, that's just any fish with snow in the name from 2013 should count for that. So you can get a bunch of the, the snowball cardinals if you want. Nutcracker Dreams, you need to equip the Arctic die and share a picture of the holly or fish. Um, that's share a picture, not a Christmas card. That's how you unlock all of those. Now, why did I say I lied to you when I said that was all of the fish? Well, well, for one thing, people want me to show you the in-app purchase fish. This is the $10 fish. There's no other way to get it. Um, it's not worth, like, if, you, if you're gonna buy one of these things, pay because you think, yes, this corgi is worth $10. Ignore this stuff, because this is, like, basically lies. Like, I mean, it's not lies, but, like, it's not as good as it sounds. Um, so, like, if you bought last year's Christmas thing, it does not double this year's Christmas um, candies. So, like, you're not getting double Christmas candies, you're getting double Christmas 2017 candies, which is not as great. Um, if you want to pay 10 bucks, you know, knock, your, knock yourself out, but uh, know that it also does not reduce the cost of the fish. I know somebody thought it reduced the cost of event fish by 30%. No. Um, just, like I said, completely ignore this stuff. This is free benefits after you purchase it. Just pay for the fish alone, because none of the other stuff is worth it, ever. Um, but yeah, so that's the paid fish. And there's a super secret fish. Like I said, this is the most complicated event, and it's great because there's a lot of stuff. But there's also this Christmas gift box. And what this is, is three times a day, for free, you can open a Christmas gift box, and it gives you either 100 candies, 200 candies, or it'll give you a random one of the 2016 Christmas fish. Um, anyone from this list, it's probably weighted for like more common fish, you know, just like the luck shell. Um, it does seem better than the luck shell, because uh, just for a quick sample of trials, um, the walrus seems more common than I would expect. Um, I don't know the odds, I will probably never know the odds. But um, you open a random gift and you can get one of these fish, not, one of, not this one though, um, you can get one of these randomly, or you can get candies, and every six boxes that you open, you will get a ne another box for free that guarantees one of these fish. So first you'll get the snowflake angelfish, then the Christmas yellow tang, and so on. And so after you've opened 72 of the boxes, you will have 
of the Christmas fish. You, you'll you have some duplicates from the random boxes as well, but uh, this way you'll be guaranteed to get all of them. No seaweed required! So, that's nice. And the grand prize, a brand new fish actually, um, once you've opened 100, which requires 34 days worth of the things, um, so I hope the Christmas event lasts more than 34 days, but if it doesn't, I guess you can try to save up pearls and you can kind of spam a few extra. You can buy an extra one, um, an extra single chest for 50 pearls. So that's one third of a day's worth. Um, not really super worth it unless you're super behind. And since people seem to not know this, you do the daily mission to get pearls. Um, I really recommend if you're playing actively and you're not doing the daily mission, you're kind of playing the game wrong, honestly. <laughs> it's pretty important. Um, especially that free... This free uh, double vitality that you get here, that is ridiculously good. Anyway, um, yeah, let me show that corgi because someone will complain. Even though it's, you can see all of the fish just by tapping in this menu. Um, but yeah, this is what the Christmas corgi looks like. And it's like, it's kind of amazing that we get this for, you know, you can get this theoretically for free. Because um, it's like getting two corgis and the, the Christmas bear. Um, but I don't know if this will necessarily last more than 34 days. The Halloween event did. But um, I would save your pearls until we know when it ends. And then if you need to blitz through pearls at the very end, I guess maybe do. Uh, do whatever's in your heart. But yeah. Um, also, also, let me go to my site. So, um, I have updated my guide with all of this information, as always. I update my guide first. Um, one thing I added to my guide is when you next visit my guide, especially if you're using Chrome, Safari, or Firefox, you should get a little message at the bottom if you're on mobile or at the top if you're on desktop um, that'll ask you if you want to opt in to push notifications. And what that means is that when I publish a new post or I have a new guide or a major update to one of my guides, um, I'll send a little push notification. You can get that on your phone or in your browser. Um, and that'll tell you, oh, hey, I have this new thing. And it, it's easy to dismiss. It's just like, it's just a notification like this, except I'll be less annoying than the Abyss Room devs, I promise, and I'll use better English. Um, and you can just click that to view the new thing and you can just swipe it away if it's not relevant. And those will be pretty rare. Those will be maybe like once a week, uh, certainly never more than once a day. I will be sending one tomorrow because uh, um, Animal Crossing New Leaf, or not New Leaf, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp which I have a guide for on my site. Very comprehensive, by the way. Um, I'll be updating that for the Christmas event in that game, so I'll be sending a push notification tomorrow. Um, but what you, if you accidentally block it, or if you blocked it without knowing it, what it was or whatever, um, or if you just don't see that, what you can do is in your mobile phone's browser, just go to the ellipsis, you know, the options menu. Um, go to settings. You want to go to site settings, and then notifications, and you can see I'm opted in here. Um, you can just go to, if this was set to block, you click allow and so forth. Uh, pretty easy stuff. And it should be similar in Safari. I don't know exactly how it works in Safari, but it should be roughly analogous. Um, and same for Firefox. Um, and that's, that's totally optional, but if you want to get the latest updates, that would be how you should do it. And, um, that, that is it for the Christmas thing. Thanks for watching, everybody.